Thank you for watching 10 meter propagation beacons. Today we're at the site of the WI6J 10 meter propagation beacon. The antenna is an Antron 99, approximately 35 feet in elevation there. Inside the old uh, dilapidated office here where the beacon is stored is a uh, Radio Shack HTX 100 transceiver and it is keyed with a uh, ideomatic keyer kit which you assemble and just simply run power to it it's programmed pro programmable with a uh, hyper terminal on your computer using a serial port and uh, this runs at 5 watts continuously it uh, sends three uh, sets of V's followed by WI6J Stroke B, Bakersfield, CA, DM05. And there we go. That's it. Runs continuously 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. At just 5 watts. Here's some of the QSL cards received confirming uh, the signal there. Even Japan and Canada. A lot of people will say that beacons provide no service anymore. That uh, everything you need to know is on the... Uh, the uh, DX Summit. I strongly disagree. I get a lot of emails indicating that uh, hams are still spinning the dial and uh, hearing beacons. And if it's a 5 watts or 2 watts, that is a pretty good indication that with a 100 watt or more station, a ham could establish contacts in that particular area. This setup is absolutely nothing fancy and is pretty basic. And I get a Considerable amount of emails uh, giving me reports on the beacon that was that had been copied, as well as some of the contacts in my area that the uh, hams had emailed me had established. So I tend to think that uh, you know spinning the dial, finding beacons, calling CQ, making contacts is a little more radio oriented than uh, you know say discussing how fluffy the clouds were today. Thanks for watching the video. 7-3 and good DX.